Hi everyone, welcome to my channel and thank you so much for stopping by. If you are new here then please take a moment to subscribe to my channel and help my channel to grow more. So in today's video I am going to share with you this beautiful pink half cut crease eye makeup. And this is basically a Durga Puja makeup tutorial and I created this look keeping in mind Durga Puja Ashtami. And I also or that signature red Bengali bindi so yeah without further ado let's get started first I'm using this Nivea moisturizing cream and I'm just massaging it all over on my face and neck now for my primer I'm going to use this elf poreless face primer this will give a very nice and smooth canvas for my foundation I already filled up my brows using these two essence products now I'm taking this wet and wild photo focus concealer and I'm going to carve out my eyebrows with a concealer brush you can check out my eyebrow routine I will link that video down in the description bar below so you can check that out this step makes a huge difference in my makeup routine so i like to follow this step now i'm going to blend the concealer using my finger now i'm mixing these two color character from la girl this is yellow and orange character and i'm going to apply it under my eyes around my mouth around my nose as well on my eyelids and wherever I have pigmentation and acne spot I'm just blending it out with a damp beauty sponge Now I'm using this Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation in the shade Golden Beige and I'm just applying it all over on my face and neck. I'm just blending it out using the same beauty sponge. This is a very nice and medium to full coverage foundation. I highly recommend this foundation for this festive season. And I'm just quickly moisturizing my lips using this Maybelline lip balm. Now for highlighting and concealing, I'm using this Wet n Wild Photo Focus Concealer and I'm just applying it under my eyes, on my eyelids, center of my forehead, bridge of my nose, cupid bow and around my mouth I'm also applying it just under where I'm going to place my contour next then I'm just blending it out using the same beauty sponge and again I'm using a tapping motion I always like to blend out my under eye concealer later this way it gets more time to settle down and it gives better coverage Highlighting just immediately brightens up your face. Now I'm using this Varath and Doris loose powder in the shade 07 and with the same sponge I'm just pressing the powder. Wherever I concealed, I always like to set my concealed area in this way. It ensures that nothing is creasing at all. 
now with a fluffy powder brush I'm just setting on my face and neck now I'm taking the contour shade from my Maybelline master contour palette with an angled brush and I'm just carving out my face that is hollows of my cheeks chin area forehead just blending everything out again with the same sponge so there is no harsh line with a smaller eyeshadow brush I'm just contouring my nose and I'm just blending my nose contour using my finger I'm taking the blush from the same palette and I'm just applying it on the apples of my cheeks first then I'm blending it out with my contour now moving on to my eye makeup I'm taking this brown shade from my makeup revolution visionary palette and I'm just applying it as my transition color with a fluffier brush I'm taking little by little product and I'm just building up the pigmentation it gives a nice transition now I'm taking this bright pink shade from my beach cosmetics take me back to Brazil palette and with a smaller brush I'm just applying it on my crease again I'm just slowly building up the pigmentation I'm going with all shades of pink because pink looks really nice with Indian outfits now I'm taking this dark pink or magenta pink with the same brush and I'm just applying it on my crease again to give it more depth now from my visionary palette I'm taking this deep violet color and I'm just placing it on my outer V area and I'm just slowly blending it in it gives a very nice depth to my eyes now with a blending brush I'm just blending everything out so there is no harsh line at all now I'm taking the same concealer with the same concealer brush and I'm just cutting my crease I'm going to create a half cut crease look this is not tough at all if you practice it it is just so easy I'm setting the concealer with the same loose powder and I'm taking this shimmery light pink shade from my visionary palette and I'm just applying it on my eyelids with my finger now I'm taking the same violet shade and I'm just blending the harsh edges now I'm taking this nice champagne gold color and uh, with a smaller brush I'm just applying it on my inner corners and I'm also highlighting my brow bones with the same color now I'm taking the deep magenta pink and I'm just applying it on my lower lash line now for my waterline and tight lining I'm using this essence kajal pencil in 01 black now no Bengali makeup is com 
complete without using a kajal. Now I'm using this L'Oreal eyeliner and I'm going to create a nice thick wing with it. I'm taking some concealer in the concealer brush and I'm just cleaning out the edges so that my wing looks sharper. I'm just blending out the concealer. Now for my mascara, I'm going to use this Maybelline Lash Sensational Mascara and I'm just coating my upper and lower lashes with it. For my highlighter, I'm using this Makeup Revolution Pro Illuminate Highlighter and I'm just applying it on my cheekbones, chin, cupid bow, center of my forehead, tip of my nose and I'm just blending it with my fingers. Now to set my makeup, I'm using this e.l.f. makeup setting spray and I'm just spritzing it all over on my face. It will make my makeup long lasting and it will take away all the excess powders. Now using this Wet n Wild Gel Lip Liner and I'm just lining my lips with it. Now for my lipstick, I'm going to use this Wet n Wild Cat Shoot Liquid Lipstick in the shade Missy and Fierce. How stunning it is. It's a gorgeous red color. So yeah, this is the final look. I'm wearing a nice Dakai sari and some jewelries and I quickly applied false eyelashes off the camera. I hope you enjoyed this video as much as I enjoyed making it for you. Thank you so much for watching and if you have any video requests then feel free to comment down below. I'll be more than happy to make it for you. See you in my next video. Bye.